Hi, this is Christy for MyScrapbookEvolution.com. I'm sharing a simple, quick and easy craft. These cute little pumpkin sugar skull treat holders. Come on over to my channel to see how to make them. So hey everybody, this is Erin and I am going to make some fun little pumpkins. Now I'm going to be kind of speeding through some of these pumpkins. I'm actually going to be doing on a live event, but then I'm going to come back and kind of finish up the video. So I may not do all of these on this particular one. I picked up these little pumpkins, these little pumpkin boxes years ago. Um, I, I got them at Michael's. They were actually in a four pack and I've used one and they came like this and I got them after Halloween for next to nothing. They were super cheap. Um, I want to say, I think I got them all for 50 cents kind of thing. So don't forget to go check out all those stores after the holidays because you find some really, really cool stuff. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to end up painting them. I mean, gotta, it's, it's primed it to be painted and I picked up some fun colors. I've already put some in here. These are just the, um, the Deco Art Americana paint. It's just really easy acrylic paint. And then I pulled out some sequins and then some black paper. And I'm going to kind of guide you through this and then speed up as I go along. All right. So the first step that we're going to do is that we're going to paint this. The next thing we're going to do is that, you know, you could paint this, leave it as is, but I wanted to make it a little bit more fun. And that's where the sequins come in. We are going to trace the bottom of this one. And we're not going to worry about painting the inside. We're just going to paint the top, the sides, and these sides. We're going to leave the inside blank. If you want to paint the inside have at it we're going to trace this and then cut it out and we're going to lay this into the inside of our lid is now we have some black in there and the reason we're doing that is because we're going to actually lay our little sequins into here to give it kind of a spooky feeling and i don't i can't put the sequins in the face um, if there's not anything behind it, otherwise the sequins are going to fall right through. So first thing that we are going to, now that we've done that is we are going to go ahead and start painting. I don't want to glue this in yet because I want to make sure that this gets painted without having problems. So I'm just going to speed up and paint this whole thing up. Okay, so I went ahead and painted a couple of these boxes. This guy, I'm gonna wait and we are gonna do it live. And then this one, we're gonna completely do live. So I have some stages going on. And I'll probably end up doing it in the third color or I'll probably end up doing this box in this color again, or maybe blending the two to get a different color. Cause I like having different shades. It just kind of adds to the effect. So I'm gonna let this guy dry. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue this in here. And for everything that we're gonna use, we're gonna use the Beacon Gem Tech glue. Um, it's perfect for using your, um, your sequins. So I'm gonna cut this a little bit more narrow because basically I just need to make sure that the face is covered. So this glue is perfect for things that you wanna embellish. Basically what we're doing right now, it's great for little gems, little rhinestones, for glitter, for pearls for um, sequins, which is what we're gonna play with. And it's it's just a great all-around glue that can be used for other things, um, but specifically for little shiny objects, hence the word gem tack. So it's pretty cool glue. Could you leave your little box just like this and it'd be super cute? Yeah, sure, but you know what? We're gonna spice it up and we're gonna have some fun. So what I have right here is I have a little thing called a quick stick. This is from We Are Memory Keepers and it's a precision and placement tool. And on one end, it's got a little bit of a sticky. So it's really easy to pick up your sequins or any other small object for like little gems and whatnot. So I have a stash of little sequins over here and see how it's not coming off. So it's going to help us place it. And we just going to make sure that we get kind of the sticky back off. So what we're going to do is we are going to place, whoops, that wants to stick to me. <laughs> That's the downside is that you get a little sticky on you and no one sticks. There we go. 
We're gonna place a little bit of our glue in each of the holes of all the black. Basically, we're gonna cover up all the black here. So we're going to go through, and we don't wanna add a ton, but we want enough, and we might even do some of the edges. We might go over and above some of the placement. And if we need to add some more, that's fine. Kind of fill in the gaps here. Now, I don't mind if this somewhat dries. I think I'm gonna leave the mouth to last because now we're gonna go in, there we go, and place our sequins in here, however we wish. So we're just gonna go in and sequins have two sides. You have a flat, kind of a curved concave and convex side. We want the side that's kind of lift up to go down. So we wanna have it so that it's kind of raised upwards versus raising downwards. That's just me. However you wanna do that, that's fine. And we're just gonna go in and we're gonna place. You might need to have a little bit of a finger hold because this is gonna to wanna to stick. Then you can use this side to kind of guide your sequin into place. Pretty cool. Now go in and grab another one and place it. And I'm kind of overlapping them. You know, if you want to be a little more exact than me, have at it. But, you know, I, I'm pretty much going in and placing them and letting them be. Not going to be super. It's just giving it kind of a cool effect on the pumpkin itself. Okay, if your sequins are overlapping, that's kind of, that's perfectly fine. Find your next one. I'm going to speed this up while I keep filling in my little sequins. And there we go. So just really cute. Just little, adds a little something in there. And notice how this side has already started to dry, you know, and it's on there. I mean, look, I'm pushing and pulling and it's got a good grab and it's only been a few minutes. This side's still very wet. I wouldn't mess with it, but it's embedded in there. So that's a pretty cool way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the sequins and we're going to kind of go around the edge, just kind of, kind of give it a nice little fun lip, not on the front, but on the side. So I'm gonna take the glue and just run, and I'm not gonna go the entire layer of it. I'm just gonna run, and I am gonna keep it on the box so I have a little bit more height to it. So I'm gonna start it and then I'll speed it up. Just a nice light layer. Remember this does dry clear. And it's got a little bit of, of time. So you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, I need to do it super quick because it's gonna dry too fast on me. That's the beauty of this glue is it does have a little bit of a slower drying time. It's not forever but it's slow enough that you can get some tasks done while it's still wet go back and pick up my quick stick and again you can do however you want in terms of the the way that you want oops i gotta take my cover off the way that you want your sequins to go on there i like it so that they're facing upwards and then just kind of layer the outside overlap a tiny bit every now and then you get lucky and you get to pick up two sequins at the same time and I'm going to keep on going all the way around and it's just giving it another little bit of dimension. If it feels like it's getting a little too high, just kind of poke it down. You can always take your finger and that's how you can level it off. Just kind of run and then they get flattened down. And you can kind of use the back side. And if you notice, I also pulled out a poker. It was just another little thing that I could use to kind of help, you know, get everything in line. So if I needed to get it from two angles, especially when I got into the mouth, it just gave me a little bit of extra oomph there. So I'm gonna keep going through and adding more sequins on. If you see me keep picking up the sequins and dropping them down, it's because I'm getting them so that they're facing upwards and not downwards. So I can lay them on here. 
and we're going to keep on going. So I'm going to speed it up. So there we go. It looks like they have a nice little border going on. You could do a whole lot more with this. You could add in more. Um, and on my live event, I'm going to show you how that you can do this with different colors. Um, I see one that's kind of popping off here. You just want to make sure they get nice down. And once they're on, they're on. It's just the glue still has a little bit of movement, which is nice. So you can kind of play with where they are. Um, if you feel like it needs a little bit more, like these guys are just kind of fighting for attention. It feels like they're both kind of having a hard time deciding who wants to be in that spot. So just get a new one. I have a little uh, thing of glue right here, perfect for when I just wanna place one or two because my bead, and notice this is still wet and I did that quite a while ago. So if it's kind of clumped up in a big mass, it's got some time to dry. And I probably did too thick right here. Um, you don't wanna add a huge bubble of glue. You wanna add a nice thin layer and it does a really good job of grabbing. So here's the eyes, notice they are on. Here's the nose. The mouth is still, it's a little bit dry because I can still see some white. So if you see white, it's not dry yet. That's your, kind of your key. But over here, look, it's already starting to dry up. I'm not gonna mess with it now, right now though. So for these pumpkins, again, I'm gonna do these live on my uh, Facebook, which will have already happened by the time this airs, but I will link the video and I will try to pull the live video up onto YouTube so you can see the rest of what I did in that event. And there's some other projects I'm gonna do as well. But I'm gonna try some fun other colors. Um, I, you can't see these off, but I have some other, I have some gold and I've got some clear, and some silver and some white and I have some purple and those are all kind of you know fun colors that you would see at Halloween time so we're gonna play with that you know I did the typical black and orange to begin with but you never know you always have you have some fun all right so I went through and I worked on and I finished this box with you just a second ago and now and we worked with the black sequins online I went through and I painted um, this box and I did this one with you and for this box I used the Canyon Orange uh, a blend for this one and this one I used Orange Twist so I, I like the different colors of the boxes and just kind of playing with the tones and seeing what happens so for this guy I did the silver sequins in the mouth and stuff and for this one we are going to do the gold sequins and then I'm gonna pair it up the gold and this kind of bronzy color this these are both from Eyelet Outlet. And instead of going around and doing the sequin band like I did on this one, instead I'm gonna use the um, this long strand and just run it along the edge, just like this. It's already sticky and it really has a pretty bling to it. And it just adds something so pretty. And I know I just got stuck to this on paper. And that's how I'm gonna finish this guy. And if I'm a little bit short, I have a couple more strands and the strands have a sticky back already so they fit beautifully and they're just they're sticking like no problem to the edge and it is so much faster oh look at that it's almost a perfect fit for this box how fun is that i thought maybe i would have to do an extra strand but i don't so i'm just going to take this and snip take off my little extra pieces cut that down and look how pretty that looks look how pretty so it's like a gemmed edge gorgeous and I'm just going to go ahead and fit this guy back on my strand here, just like that. And so I can save that for another day. Maybe I need an extra one. This one is a little bit bigger. If you notice, this is a much smaller gem than this one. But the first step we're going to do with this guy is we're going to take our glue and we're going to back it. And I did like it the way this one worked out. When I was pushing the sequins into the mouth on that one, it fit inside. So it almost looked like the sequins were kind of buried in the, um, the spaces. And if you wanna see how I would did part of this one and the painting of the other one, I'm gonna put up in the corner um, the link to my live video. Um, I did more than just these boxes. I also did some decorated pumpkins. So you can take out the pumpkins as well. And that's where some of the glitteriness is coming on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in Move this guy out of the way. And we're gonna use the gold on this one this time. We need the glue to set. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in some of the glue on here so it can get that tacky feeling to it. And this time I am, I'm gonna embed them like I did on the other one. I'm gonna embed 
the sequins underneath. So it doesn't look like it's resting on top. It looks like it's coming in from underneath, like I did on the mouth. These ones I'm leaving as is. I'm not going to change what already existed, but I am going to alter it for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up and do what I did before and go ahead and bed these in with all the sequins. And there we go. It's a cute little box already kind of gemmed up. I did break apart one and kind of fit it halfway between two because two gems didn't quite fit, but when one gem was next to the other, it looked like there was a gap. So I just split it and kind of tucked it between because every now and then you got a couple that were close together or farther apart on the regular line. So there are our cute little boxes in three different colors using sequins and some fun bling from Islet Outlet, ready to be given to kids, a teacher, or somebody. Really cute stuff. Stopping by, please subscribe and see you again soon. Bye-bye.